my name is Zach Caramana. I'm the owner of Northern Barley Brewing. We're here in Hammond, Louisiana, just north of New Orleans. We started in 2014, manufacturing only. We were not allowed to actually have a tap room in Louisiana. 2016, the state started allowing tap room, which was a big win. We ended up being in the top 50 fastest growing breweries in the nation two years in a row. Since then, we've grown quite a bit as well. Uh, this year, we're on pace to make about 16,000 barrels. I'm Joey Charpentier, and I'm the head brewer of Gnarly Barley Brewing. Back when we were being introduced to CO2 hop extract, we were kind of trying to figure out, okay, we have all these flagship recipes already. How are we going to retool what we do for that product? So we took a little bit of trialing to kind of figure out exactly how we're going to replicate the bitterness and like aroma that we had, like with our regular like T90 hop pellets. Really just kind of dove in and uh, we found that we had better flavor and aroma. So it really wasn't that hard to really retool a lot of the stuff that we were doing. It was 2016 with the introduction of our first to the market juicy kind of hazy IPA that we decided to start experimenting with some things. The main draw was I was really interested in using those products because it's something that was new on the market was that we hadn't really experimented much with. So I was excited to see what it could do for our beer. Hi, I'm Josh Wurzbacher. I'm a regional sales manager for Yakima Chief Hops and we're at Gnarly Barley today to talk about CO2 extract. As a former brewer, I really enjoyed using CO2 extract for many reasons. Number one is the yield savings you get from hot side applications. It's also, you're working with a quarter of the mass, so you can save on shipping and storage space. Whether it's for bittering or for aroma, I think CO2 extract is a great tool that all brewers should have in their arsenal. So we're a 30 barrel brew house and we're doing several turns a day. I mean, we're using maybe, depending on the recipe, one to three cans per turn. It just kind of depends. Those cans are the 150 GMA cans. If we're looking at like a huge double IPA, it might be closer to like three cans. I mean, some of our lighter stuff might be just like one to 150 GMA can. CO2 extract is also very easy to use. They're sold by grams of alpha acid. You can think of that as being the amount of acid extracted per plant. And so they're canned at 150 GMA or 300 GMA. An easy calculation to do is 150 GMA for 10 barrels of beer is about 30 IBUs. So it's really easy to use. Calculations can be done on a piece of paper very quickly by any brewer. Using it hot side, you'll see reduced wort absorption from the plant material. You'll see less vegetal and polyphenol contribution. You'll also have reduced kettle foam formation. Well, as far as like how we use this product, it's pretty simple. We're typically just throwing it in 20 minutes or later in the boil process. We tried using it like 60 minutes and on, and we just found it best 20 minutes or like closer to Whirlpool. We started brewing IPAs that were a little softer than the old school IPAs. And with that, you know, the cryo was attractive because you're removing a lot of that stuff that kind of muddles the flavor up and really gets down to the point of the, the, the hop flavors and aromas that you're looking for. But the beer just kind of came to life. We noticed much better flavor and aroma. The bitterness was still there, nothing lost at all. But we really just, the beers just got better overall. Soft, but flavorful, just really positive all the way around. I think a lot of brewers think that CO2 extract is only for the bigger breweries, but CO2 extract is very easy to use. I have plenty of customers on 10 barrel brew houses who are able to use CO2 extract on the hot side to be able to maximize their yields, especially for brewers who don't actively centrifuge or DE filter. Getting the most beer in the tank possible will only save you more money on the downstream. And CO2 extract is also varietal specific, so if you have a beer that you're using Simcoe in the Whirlpool, you can use CO2 Simcoe extract and get the same exact results using less plant material on the hot side. So for recipe considerations, there is no limit whatsoever. We are using CO2 hop extract in like every single style that we brew. I mean, we're using, like I said, a lot of mosaic and cascade, but I mean, there's not a single recipe that I haven't tried using CO2 hop extract in. So I mean, that's anything from like light beer and we have like a steam beer that we have on all the way through like all our hoppy products and then like Juicy Burn, Radical Rye, like double IPAs all the way to like 
big stouts. Juicifer is our biggest beer by a long shot, and that is the first beer that we really started to retool our recipe with using CO2 hop extract and also cryo hops. That's where we kind of started blending those together, but we are definitely racking up a few awards with it. I mean, we had the US Beer Open, name beer competition, we put Juicifer in, and we're rocking through a lot of that beer using CO2 hop extract and couldn't be happier. That stuff is pretty cool. We got, you know, a lot of awards. And you know, you, you submit your beers, you put it out there, you know, you, you love your beer and you don't expect to win awards because there's a lot of great beer out there. There's so many great breweries that winning an award is definitely exciting, but it's tough, you know? So when we do win stuff, you celebrate it. I'm just happy that my customers come in here and they drink a new beer. We release something almost every week and to see their faces, that's the awards that we really care about. The brewing industry is really all about innovation. For us, that's what we kind of do. And also, like I said, it makes it exciting for us. It keeps it fresh. Our brewers love it. And that's the way we kind of approach everything, uh, process and ingredient wise. We pride ourselves on our hobby beers. We do IPAs well, very well. <laughs>